Hello, good news is ready TSM here, and today I'm going to be doing another product review. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, we already knew I was going to do that. So, yes, today I've got here some Spa Naturals. Well, at least it's by Spa Naturals coconut oil. Now, for my last product review, I gave you the lovely Palmer's coconut butter with vitamin E formula, waxy, hard coconut, cocoa butter thing, and it's great. It's fabulous. But some people, they're just not into having that hard block of anything and just like oh why would I put that on my skin I mean, it does smooth out over time and then not only that again but that bath and body works okay forget the fact that it's expensive some people are just think I do not want to put loose oil directly onto my skin okay no no and no well there are also those people out there that want oil but they're just not quite into all of that for those people, I would definitely recommend this coconut oil moisturizing cream, with, which also has vitamin E, because it does have coconut oil in it, and it looks like this. It smells good. Does it smell good, as good as the Palmer's? By any means. But, you know, I mean, the Palmer's smells better than that Bath and Body Works stuff, because, again, that scent was hitting on nothing. But this is super, super good for people who don't who aren't looking for something hard or oily because it has the water base in it so some people they just want both they want the water base and the oil base to be together and this cream you can feel the oil nourishing your skin and you definitely won't feel greasy after it because that's what some people are just thinking now i don't care that you say that if you put it on right after you shower the oil won't be greasy or i don't care if you say that this waxy thing isn't going to be greasy and give that a scent. no 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 and no Okay, I just want something that I don't have to even think about there just being issues with grease at all. Because I don't want to mess with my sheets. Because even if the oil, you know, if I sit on my bed putting that stuff on, even if the oil gets on, doesn't get on my skin, if it gets on my sheets, the sheets are not going to absorb it like my skin absorbs it. So, no. And yes, I have accidentally poured, spilled some oil on my sheets because, you know, in my apartment, I would have to... I wouldn't be, I wasn't, okay, I wasn't the type of person that would hug up the bathroom like that. So I would just go put the oil on right after I left. And you know, my sheets suffer for that. So this is definitely great for that. I think, you know, I put it on my face sometimes too. I even put the Palmer's Luna cocoa butter thing on my face as well. Like it's good for my skin. That Bath and Body Works thing, I'm just gonna tell you right now. Side note, don't ever put that on your face. Never ever put that on me don't put that on your hair either but this you can put this on your face because even though it says for use on elbows knees body hands and feet it feels good on all of those it, like it doesn't make your face break out okay so you wouldn't have to worry about any skin sensitivity there because i know how people can be you know you don't want to accidentally exacerbate you know whatever skin problems you have on your face if you have any and you don't want to bring any out because for me i don't really have any skin problems on my face as you can probably see but that bath and body works thing brought out something and it was not pretty so definitely if you're looking for something for body and face this is the way to go if you're worried about putting wax on your face that's all i've got for you today critics i will be doing more product reviews because i feel like it so bye critics